Breaking news. Tension in Lagos State. Hours after hoodlums clashed with policemen in Aja, see what really happened. The Nigerian police have confirmed that they are at Aja area of Lagos State doing some operation at the black spot in the area where hoodlums hijack a bullion van. According to reports, the police have arrested some, sus some suspects and recovered a lot of the items some hoodlums stole, including money, on Sunday, 15th November 2020. A story from social media revealed that some hoodlums clashed with the police at Aja and it claimed that the police are now arresting people randomly in the area. Reports also claim that people were running up and down in Aja on Sunday morning. Also, viral videos also captured sounds of gunshots in the area. A woman who goes by the name Neki Ofondu that, that lives in the area revealed that this morning's incident was very serious. Wow. Nikki said, since five days now, any time I get to my area after work, I will become afraid. The area will look like where people deserted and you will be hearing stories of how people were robbed. She added that all this started after the NSAS protest and I have been telling my husband that we should park from the area if the situation continues. On Thursday, most people will recall that some hoodlums attacked and robbed a bullion van that was carrying money at Ado Road in Aja. They also killed one person and injured a gatesman who was later confirmed dead in the hospital. A lot of hoodlums have started causing trouble at some splash points in Lagos after the NSAS protest and now the state is, in, is experiencing many destruction of public and private properties. On Saturday, the Nigerian army told the Lagos judicial panel that was in charge of NSAS matters that the bullion van was robbed by hoodlums who are now feeling confident after what happened to police officers during the protest. What do you have to say about this between the government and the hoodlums? Who do you think is at fault? Leave a comment. Who do you think is sponsoring all these hoodlums? Because when the protest started, it started and lasted for two weeks peacefully. There was nothing until when an identified person sent the hoodlums to go and disrupt the protest at Lekki. At the long run, soldiers were now involved shooting randomly and sporadically. I would like you to share your views concerning this issue and concerning the nation Nigeria generally because we are no longer safe in the country Nigeria. You are listening to Independent TV7. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more news. Thanks.